what's up, Lizzie? Today I'm not putting on my makeup or anything. I have my makeup done. Uh, we're going to be comparing a bunch of different foundations with very similar names to each other. They're all, or quote unquote, the lightest shade that most lines come out with that are cruelty free. They're all drugstore. Um, well, actually, there's a few that aren't drugstore, I should say. We're going to be doing swatches on my arms here just to kind of show you like a comparison of what some companies call ivory versus other companies call it ivory. And some are even in the same um, kind of brand of how they kind of rank their foundations. I thought it would be interesting to do. So I'm going to just focus on Alabaster. That's one of the names I normally get. Um, porcelain and Ivory. And then also I'm just going to compare what a lot of brands just call light natural or natural or beige, fair beige. Like the fairest more or less shade. That's a cool tone. So we're going to kind of go through all of those and have a cool video. So let's do it. Alright, so we're in my kitchen now. I'm going to compare these two foundations. The first one here, it's not going to focus on it, is a Flower Light Illusion Lumis Makeup Nude Skin Feel Foundation in the shade Porcelain. And then we're going to compare it to this one, which is Elf's Flawless Finish Foundation in Porcelain, but apparently that is its old name. Its current name is Natural, but it used to be called Porcelain according to the bottom. So we're going to compare these two side by side. Flower V, I just saw entered into Ulta. I haven't seen it in any drugstores near me. Alright, we're just going to. I like that this has a pump too. Put a little bit on my skin. And then I'm just going to use a clean finger and we're just going to smudge it out here. So that is Elf's Porcelain. And then I'm going to put flour right there. Now I'm not going to blend these all the way into my skin just because we have a bunch of these to do. Alright, so this one also has a pump. So let's do warm it up and I don't know if that's actually going to give me a skin tone, that looks way too dark oh my god, come out does this thing have a, like a seal on it? no it doesn't, okay it just needs to come out that's what I thought So this looks much more like my skin tone, maybe warm tone, but as you can see, this is a lot darker than this, and they're both porcelain. So you can see there's not like a bunch of discrepancies. I'm going to actually do reviews on all these foundations coming up, so I'm not going to do like that right now, but there'll be kind of reviews of these guys, as well as all the ones I mentioned coming up. Yeah, this one's definitely lighter than this one. This one's too dark for me. From the looks of it. Yay! To the next color! Next up we have these three. I'm just going to keep all the foundations already tested back here. These ones are the Alabasters. I have an Hourglass Vanish... I totally forgot the name of it. It's Hourglass Vanish... Finished foundation. This is the shade Alabaster. This is one I normally use along with the shade called Blanc. I didn't have any others called Blanc, so that one we're not doing a comparison of. Um, this next one is NYX Total Coverage Drop Foundation, also in the shade Alabaster. And then NYX, that NYX, that was NYX, um, Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in Alabaster, which should be lighter than this guy. So, I very used alabaster. I'm not comparing formula wise, it's literally just we're just comparing the color. So this is normally what I wear. Again, mixed with block, which makes it a little bit lighter. Uh, next we have NYX's alabaster. 
which is a lot more watery in consistency. I've already done a review on this one. In the past, and this is lighter than this. And then next, all right, we gotta get our pumping arm going. Come on. These are new. Some of these are. I have, have not tried all of these foundations out before. The ones I haven't, I'll do reviews on because these two I've had previously and have used. So I could actually give you a review of those, but this is not what this video is about. This video is literally just about comparing foundation shades. Okay, so this alabaster looks a lot more like the Hourglass Butt Alabaster compared to the NYX Alabaster. The NYX Alabaster is the closest to my skin tone, I think. Yeah, there's all the alabasters. Let's go on to ivory. Ah! Alright, next we have all the ivories. My tripod just broke. So, I'm trying to get it so it doesn't fall over everywhere. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it to work though. Oh no. Okay, this is the only angle I can get where the tripod doesn't like completely break. So, we have quite a few different ivories and even three of the same company here, but they're all technically different ivories. This one's called Shell Ivory, this one is Rose Ivory, and then this last one is Nude Ivory. So even there, I have a few different variations of ivory. Then we have the NYX. We'll get into that. We'll, we'll, let's just... Okay, so we're going to start off with Nude Ivory. which is the darkest of the ivories I have of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations. This is Nude Ivory, which is a light natural. Then we have Rose Ivory, which is light cool. Again, I'm not going to blend these. The idea is just to get a color swatch of them. I can get this in focus. So, this is rose, this is nude, and those are both the light tones. One's natural, one's cool. And the last one I have is shell, which is a fair neutral, which honestly, this is the fair shade. Nope, we're falling. We're falling. Okay, so nude on the outside, rose in the middle, and then um, shell in this on the left, on the right. The right one is supposed to be dark. The darkest or the lightest of all these. Honestly, the middle one is the lightest, <laughs> and that's the light color. <laughs> okay, I need to figure out how to hold the camera. <laughs> hold on. Alright, we're going to have to start at the wall here because this is the only way I can get my tripod not to fall. Okay, so, light natural, well, shell, nude ivory, rose ivory, shell ivory. Then I'm going to use the, this hand next. Alright, so next we have the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation Flawly, Naturally Flawless. This, I guess, is a dropper. I guess this is how the foundation comes out. I haven't used this one, so. No, there is a cap. Okay, there is a. I'm just hitting the software. There we go. There's a pump. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. We're slipping again. My tripod broke. Alright, we're looking here now. <laughs> so, let's. Let's get this one going here, shall we? Again, this is an ivory, because they're all ivories in this grouping. Gotta love a new pump. <laughs> yes, I'm going to leave all this in, because your are foundations. <laughs> I'll take you get the first one out.
Maybe. <laughs> oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Tiny shit's gonna come out. Okay. There we go. That took a while. <laughs> This is Ivory from BH Cosmetics. Compared to the Ivories from Wet n Wild. So this one looks way more like my skin tone than these guys do. This is probably my closest out of the Wet n Wilds. Next we have LA Girl Pro Matte. I'm getting this new bottle, completely dirty, from BH Cosmetics. Their bottles are very similar. <laughs> Uh, Pro Matte HD High Definition Longwear Matte Foundation. I did not like their um, the other foundation I had from them. It just never dried, so I'm really curious if this one will. We got another, another pump here. That came out faster than BH one. Perfect. All right, we'll use those four dots. So this is. LA Girls version of Ivory. So a lot more close to the BH Cosmetics Ivory than to Wet n Wilds. And last of the Ivories we have NYX Stay Matte but Not Flat Liquid Foundation. Ivory, of course. And we're just going to put it right there. Not going to put a lot because Yeah. All right. Let's find out just a little bit here. That is so warm toned. <sighs> I can't really wear it. Okay. So there's all the ivories. This side, I'd say it's a lot closer to my actual skin tone than this side. Well, this one maybe. I would say it's close, but the rest, no. So that's all how ivories compare to each other. Next, I have the other fairest or lightest. Not all of them are actually the lightest, but they're... Actually, a lot of them are the lightest. We're going to do that, that batch next. Just see how their lightest all compares. <laughs> Ignore my fingernails. <laughs> Alright, this next group is basically the rest of my foundations. <laughs> a lot of these are called natural or they're the lightest shades in a collection. So I thought just... This is kind of so, like, the, the notice, not whatever, honorable mentions or whatever. Just to kind of compare how those ones all look next to each other. Because I'm very curious. I'm going to do a blog post that will have pictures of all these. And then I'll do reviews of any formulas I haven't reviewed previously. So, if you guys are curious. Uh, let's start off with NYX Rainforest of the Sea um, Water Foundation. And this is in the shade Fair Newt. Fair and neutral. So we're just putting a little bit there. I'm blending it out. Just a little bit, not like a lot. So that's fair na natural. Next we have Physician Formula, the Healthy Foundation with SPF 20, uh, Brightening Complex, and this is in the shade LC1, which is their lightest shade. It's also the cool tone shade. Did I take that off right? Yes. And this one has a doe foot applicator. So just kind of. Ooh, that's really close to my skin tone. Oh, no, oh god. We're adjusting our look again. So there's the um Fission formula in LC1. Next there's probably my most worn foundation, which is the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Fair Beige. Which I really like this foundation. As you tell, it's very dirty. I wear it all the time. All 
you're falling, you're falling, right there. That's what it looks like. So, closest one I would say to my skin tone. I like the coverage of it. All right, addressing the broken tripod. Doesn't really. If you're wondering why I have this here, I also have what, what um, things. I'm walking my fingers off on this, and then you see a makeup wipe in between to my swatches. All right, so going on to the next arm. We got the BH Cosmetics Liquid Foundation, and this one is in the shade Natural Beige. Again, there's a pump. Yeah, that pump took forever. We're just gonna, we're just gonna grab some and slap it on here. Cause no one's got time for another pump like that with a broken tripod. So there's that shade, comparing it with the others. There's actually a pump, I just don't feel like dealing with that right now. All right, next we have Milani's Conceal and Perfect 2 in 1 foundation in the shade Light Natural. This is their lightest shade. They also have a pump. Hopefully we can get some out before the tripod dies again. There we go. BH Cosmetic Pump just is shit. And that is way too dark and warm tone for my skin. I haven't tried this one. This is a new one I tried. Want to try. So there's how that one lines up. It's very close to the physician formula. But more warm tone. And last but not least, we have the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. And this is in the shade 110, which I don't believe is their lightest shade, but it is the cool tone lightest shade. So, just putting a bit of that on my skin. I love this foundation as well. I just recently shaped it so you can't tell how much I use it. But next to the um, Tarte Amazonian Clay one, I wear this one a lot. So there is that one. These are kind of the, just what the lightest shade of every foundation range says. A lot of these aren't exactly my skin tone. This one, for sure. It's oxidizing and it's definitely not my skin tone. But yeah, that's kind of how... All of the lightest foundations kind of match up to each other. And if you want to try any of these, you can kind of see what they kind of look like. So yeah. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I'm going to switch it around to usher my face. Hopefully the tripod doesn't break during that. So let's, let's go back to that one. Alright, I'm holding the camera now. Because <laughs> the tripod's broke. By the tripod, I mean this is what it sits on. This is now stuck in my camera. It came out into my camera. I gotta somehow get that out because I can't use any other tripod now. And then these legs are always just shit. But that was trying out every foundation. Um, kind of just looking up foundations and seeing how they compare if they all have similar names. So just showing you all the ones that we used today. I'm gonna straighten this mess out at the end here real quick. Okay, so we had our two porcelains, our alabasters, we had our ivories to here. The ivories were to this guy. And then the lightest shade names or lightest tones in their collections. Hey, scale foundations. We just tried on. I hope you guys all like this video. If you guys want more videos like this in the future, just give this video a big old thumbs up. Subscribe, join the Hello Pack. And I think next I'm going to try mixing all the liquid foundations together and trying them on my face to see what it looks like. I mean, a lot of these are not my skin tone. Or I have to make them work because this is all I can get. I got a few new foundation things because, as I said, a lot of times they're not the right skin tones just by going off of the name and just what is the lightest in every shade range isn't always correct. I'm sorry if this is like the worst, like, not stable and everything. I might need to try about rope. <laughs> I'm not sure you guess. 
So this, I get a bunch just so I can try them and then any that don't work out for me, I will donate or I give to my sister if they're too dark because then she's kind of like one or two shades above me. So they work for her and if, they don't, if they're even still too dark for her, then my mom's two to three shades, one to two shades darker than her. I'm just a nice one. <laughs> so someone will end up normally being able to wear one of these. So they're not wasting foundation. It's just I have to like get a bunch of foundation to try them to find out if they work for my skin tone or not. So that's kind of what this was kind of about. I thought it was kind of more interesting. Just kind of seeing how different shades of the same name, quote unquote, looked next to each other. So I hope you guys found that all interesting. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know which one you think looked the best. Or is your favorite foundation if you've tried any of these. And I shall see you guys all in the next video. Bye!